Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy Flowers and I am a student of Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University and on a journey to become 100% debt free. My current debt is nearly $200,000. I am on baby step number two to repay all of my debts and my income as of last month was $4,300. In this video, I'm going to be going over my November grocery haul. So if you're interested in that, please keep watching. Um, I wanted to just quickly check my seasonings because it is cold and I want more like chilies and stews and things of that nature and so making good delicious things. Then I like to come to my cupboards to see what I have in here and let's start here at the bottom. Alright so I have a little bit of red beans left, a little bit of black beans, some pistachios, popcorn, um, these are oats. This is oats also just that were left over that couldn't fit in this jar originally And this is an empty jar. I think I just had this in my my freezer like I was like freezing uh, veggie scraps um, But I just like how it this looks really pretty right there So I just put it in there. I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything to put in there a little bit of um, pink Himalayan sea salt almond slices This is the essence that I made from last month's grocery haul um, and then if you go up to the second shelf, I have about uh, one bag and a quarter of the um, Boom Chip Kettle popcorn. Um, I have a ton of rice. I only prepared one cup of rice. Soaking it overnight did help, but it still was a little not awesome on the digestion. So I do have a ton of rice left. I have a little bit of quinoa. This is a little bit of, um, this is a little bit of self-rising flour. Um, self-rising flour, bread crumbs, and then this is still the salmon that I had from last month. I didn't use it because I don't have a can opener, so I definitely will be getting a can opener so that I can try that out. And then up on the top shelf, I have baking soda, cake flour, angel hair pasta, jiffy cornbread, almond milk soup bases, a little bit of tea, and some seasonings over there. So that's what I have. And my cupboards let's take a look at my freezer and refrigerator so here in the freezer um, these are this is a little bit of uh, broth this is a little bit of broth and this is also a little bit of broth that I made from the veggie scraps that I had over the last couple of months so I have a nice amount of broth left this are this is some red beans so I'm actually gonna take these red beans that I stored out um, and when I take them out I don't take them out and immediately leave them like on the counter I take the frozen jar out and I just put it in the refrigerator to sort of de-thaw a little bit in the refrigerator and then I go from the refrigerator to the counter to my pot and then just as a FYI these were just the leftover ice packs and freezer the insulation from my home chef bundle which a subscriber told me that that will cut down on how much work my freezer needs to do so those are in there then if we come down to the refrigerator I have uh, about half a half of a half gallon of almond milk left those are the beans I just took out a little bit of celery this is parmesan cheese left over from my home chef and then my same condiments I am just out of banana peppers I have mayo mustard and tomato uh, tomatoes um, <laughs> and ketchup so that is what I have in my refrigerator the goal now is to think through some warm hearty meals that I can have um because it is very cold outside and I'm just wanting like something a lot a little bit more to cozy up to so I'm gonna go over to my office nook and work on a grocery list also I wanted to point out something that I won't have to take out of my grocery list is oops uh -oh. <laughs> out of my grocery budget is uh to purchase water because a subscriber sent me a Brita water filter so I will be attaching that um, this morning, uh, probably when I get back from it, but um, the subscriber's name is Flanner. I'm not going to say their last name, but I think you're okay if I if I say your name. I hope that you're fine, but I just wanted to let you know that I really appreciate it. Um, I've unboxed it. I'm super excited, um, and it definitely will be fewer plastic um, jugs, and I'll have nice, clean filter water, so thank you so very much for that, that not only um helps me with being a ton more sustainable and less wasteful but it also helps with my grocery budget because i usually spend anywhere from like um what maybe 
five to seven dollars a month on water and now that money will be able to go back into my grocery budget which means i'll be able to get more heartier things for this super cold season so thank you very much flanner i appreciate that so one of the main questions that i get nearly every single video is if i can do a meal plan to show you guys like what i eat or how i how i how i did maybe i think some people want a meal plan and then some people kind of want to see how i make the food like stretch and i don't actually think through my food in a meal plan sort of a way like for the most part i eat the same thing every day so i don't think through it that way but i did sit down and look over my past grocery budgets and sort of look over what i actually do and i'll show you kind of like how i think through um the meals and how i shop and maybe that will help to inform you potentially putting together like a meal plan because I don't actually have a meal plan. But let me show, throw you over my shoulder and show you what I'm talking about. All right. So on this piece of paper every month when I'm doing the grocery budget in some sort of way, it's organized like this. Like it may not be this like laid out like evenly like this, but in some sort of way, I lay it out like this and I always put my budget here at the top, I know that I'm going to spend $50, so I just have that in mind. My top six are, anytime you're like watching a video, a, a budget video with me and people are like, or people ask me questions like, how do you get your budget so low or whatever, like I always say, like pick your favorite five, five ingredients, five foods, like whole foods, not like your favorite meals, but just the food. Like, do you really like fettuccine, the noodle? Do you really like kale do you really like sweet potato whatever they are pick like your top five i think six is a really good number pick your top six and make sure that you purchase those every single month and then learn how to remix them with all the other things that you have so i would list my top six things and you guys probably are going to guess kale is going to be number one sweet potato like you know so i would list those there because i just know every month i'm gonna buy those again and then i try to think through okay what can i how can i make though those items interesting then i come down to like how i refill like my pantry refrigerator etc and so i'll list the type of beans that i'm gonna get um and i guess this could probably be like beans slash grains and because when i say beans i mean like my quinoa my rice my my beans um then i list the type of veggies that i plan on getting i list the type of fruit that i plan on getting i list the type of seasonings that i plan on getting and in seasoning i mean that broadly it doesn't have to just be dried seasoning because like sometimes i can buy, buy something fresh and that would be considered a seasoning then i have the other category the other category is kind of like like for processed foods or specialty food items um, or like specific ingredients but I kind of just break it down like that then on the back side I list all of the recipes that I plan on making I'm so. going to do this uh, what is it it's like a kale lemon soup so I would put that here also know that I'm gonna make a chili so I'm gonna put that here so any sort of like specific recipe I may even make some zucchini bread this month like any sort of specific recipe that I'm gonna make I will put that on this side and I make sure that that recipe all of the ingredients are also listed here and like I guess also too when I'm thinking about it it's just like I know what I can do with my top six like I know what I can do with my top six like period point blank everything else is kind of like extra and i think that that helps me to keep it conservative so i hope that that's something that is helpful to you now i'm going to get this all filled in so i definitely have my list because last time I forgot it and that wasn't awesome. Okay, it is very, very cold. <laughs> so cold outside. Um, I am making my way to the back of the store to get my uh, bulk bags from the bakery. Because remember, they're paper bag now. They're paper bags now. My lips are a little bit numb. <laughs> Here. I'm in the bulk section and they don't have white beans and I really want to, they have white um, great northern beans but that's not the type of bean that I'm looking for. So I may have to get a bag portion of those because they don't have the white beans that I'm looking for. Um, but they do have my black beans and a couple of the other things so let's get those. Guys, they have some fancy popcorn. They have, I don't 
so we can do this. It's multicolored. I've never had that before, but I'm kind of excited to try it. So a subscriber sent me $9.71. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. There were no specific instructions to what to do with it, but I do want to add it to my grocery budget. And so I'm tossed between getting some salmon and getting uh, honey and um, coconut oil. So I'm gonna go take a look at the price on both of those things and let you know what I decide. Okay, so I looked at the price of everything and I am going to go with salmon for the addition. Um, I had some salmon with my home chef and it was delicious and now I officially know how to make salmon in the most excellent way possible. So I'm gonna get a couple of these fillets. May I have um, two salmon fillets individually wrapped, please? Thank you. Hope you guys can see me. The sun is like in my face, so I can't tell if you guys can see me. But um, Whole Foods was successful. I feel like I got much less than what I normally get. Um, and at, while I was in there, I was kind of like, why? Why am I not getting more pounds of like beans or pounds of whatever? But I realized it's because I still have so much in my cupboards but I have so much in my cupboards because I did have um, a few of the meals through Home Chef. And so because of those meals, um, then I didn't have to eat as much of what I normally eat. And um, I was out of town for four days. So I was just like, oh, okay. So I, I didn't eat as much of my regular foods at home last month. So that's why I have more bases left, which turns out awesome because I don't need to buy as much um, now. So now I'm headed to High Park Produce to pick up some veggies. I'm also going to um, stop at my shipping address to pick up some packages because I keep getting emails because you guys have been busy sending me things. <laughs> so I'm going to stop and pick those up. I hope that they're not too heavy for me to, to be able to carry on this here walk. Um, and then I'm going to go home and get all this stuff prepped. So. Let's go. So, um, I received a couple of letters. You guys know that I like snail mail, so I'm gonna get those open. I did receive a couple of packages the other day. I think that I'm gonna figure out some kind of way to uh, open packages for you guys so that you can see some of the stuff that I've been receiving. We're here in Target now because my lights blew out and my, oh, those are cute. See, this is why I can't come in stores. Uh, go, just close your eyes and keep walking. Uh, hold on, let me get to the section so I can stop looking around. Um, what do I need, light bulbs? Um, my lights went out in my bathroom, so I need some light bulbs. Um, and, I want to get light bulbs and then get out of the store because if I stay in here, I'm going to buy more than light bulbs and I don't want to do that. As it turns out, my apartment complex will replace the bulbs, so that's nice because I don't have to spend any money on that. Just have to put in a work order and they'll come out and replace the bulbs for me. So I did good. I didn't buy anything in Target. <laughs> we have arrived to my favorite place. I just think produce is just so beautiful and it just... It just looks so good. It just, every time I come in here, it just always looks so good. And I get so excited about getting my veggies. Let's see, let's start with my sweet potatoes. These sweet potatoes look massive. Let's see. What, what pray tail is the difference? Okay, these are gonna be some yams, and these are my more traditional sweet potatoes. Can someone tell me? Can someone tell me, what is the specific difference between, obviously size, but what's the specific difference between yams and sweet potatoes? I'm probably gonna do some research and put some information in the down bar, because I would love to know. Uh, let's get some of this delicious spinach. Just, let me just look at these beautiful greens. They're just stunning. Ah, oh, look at that, just beautiful. Beautiful, I tell you. 
This is a new vegetable that you guys are seeing me buy. Spaghetti squash. I actually adore spaghetti squash. I don't think I'm going to be able to pick this up with one hand. It is so good. It's very, very versatile. Um, yeah, it's, it's just really good. So we are back and um, this is the haul overall. Not going to lie, it seems fairly light, which I know I plan to return to get fresh produce um, about, you know, two weeks from now to just get my my fresh kale and spinach, but it just still seems much lighter than what it normally is. And I think that that's just because I, um, I uh, didn't have to replace as much of my beans. I don't know what's happening there. I didn't have to replace as much of my beans that I normally do, so it just seems very light. I don't know. But any hoodle, um, I wanted to point out that I did pick up two uh, pieces of salmon that a subscriber sent me, $9.71. And I just want you to know that that went on some salmon for me for this month. I'm super excited about that. Then I have here the red and blue popcorn, which is going to be interesting to try obviously i don't think it's going to cook up any other color but it'll be interesting to have those kernel colors um organic black beans i got about a pound and a quarter a pound and a quarter um organic rolled oats i got about one pound and a half and then i got a pound of red kidney beans also from whole foods i got my justin's peanut butter then from high park produce um, pretty much got the same that I normally get. I got a bunch of spinach, a bunch of kale, um, my, uh, orange pepper, yellow pepper, red onion. The new things that I got that I don't normally get is spaghetti squash. So I got two spaghetti squash. And then for sweet potatoes, I normally get sweet potatoes, but this time I intentionally purchased like these smaller, like maybe the size of my hand size sweet potato and some of these other larger ones because what i'm finding is that sometimes i just want a like small portion of sweet potatoes whether i'm roasting it or just um chopping them up and um putting them in a bowl or something like that and i think that this will be just a really nice size for like not necessarily a snack but maybe more like a lunch portion versus when i do these like if i do like a stuffed sweet potato this is like a dinner size stuffed sweet potato a serving of two and then this one i I'll, i won't feel like i have to eat you know two whole dinner portions of sweet potatoes i can just really like enjoy that so i got that and then i got a little bit of garlic which i think originally this garlic was for the kale bean thing so i might i don't have anything to use that but we'll figure something out so i am going to get this put away and i'm also going to make myself a little sweet potato hash while i am putting away my groceries so. So i'm going to meal prep and cook my sweet potato hash at the same time i'm using my made in skillet I love this. I love this uh, cookware so much that I'm actually going to order the rest of the cookware. I'm going to add it to my budget soon. sweet potatoes there at the bottom a little spaghetti squash one onion that I didn't prep my garlic then over here in the cupboards we have a couple of uh, 
prepped overnight oats. This jar is empty. My oats are full. My multicolored popcorn. My beans are also both filled. Then my Justin's peanut butter is here at the top and just everything that was there before. I guess I'll just stand back so you guys can see everything that's in my cupboard. I'm over here to the refrigerator and in the refrigerator we have the beans that we took out earlier today that are nice and liquidy so I'll warm those up. This is actually my kale that I normally wrap up. I double bagged it because I don't have any more plastic bags so I don't know how well that's gonna last um, but that is my kale. Here is my cleaned spinach and then this is prepped onions, prepped um, yellow and orange pepper and a prepped white onion and then that's just the celery that I have there as well as a few condiments. In the freezer we just have our two pieces of salmon that we will cook and then that is just veggie broth right there at the top. I thought I was gonna have some of this hash left over. I clearly thought wrong. This is super good, but that is a wrap for November's grocery haul. As always, <laughs> I deeply appreciate you all for supporting my work and I look forward to talking to you very soon. Bye.